Maddie, your face looks bare compared to the time that we saw you before. And yeah, you're right. My face is bare. I've got no makeup on. And you're probably thinking, why are you doing a video where everyone can see you with no makeup on? And the answer is, is because I'm gonna be filming a little get ready with me sort of chatty talking to you about different things i've put on my instagram uh some uh, a question saying does anyone want to ask me any questions for this video and i had so many of you answer back which is really nice so thank you very much for that one what i'm doing is basically doing a get ready with me with makeup in this huge bag from Sephora and also a few bits of bought from Morphe as well in Las Vegas so I've been to Las Vegas now it was amazing hopefully I'm gonna put up little sort of not like vlog clips but just like pictures and videos and maybe talk about my experience of Vegas and if any of you are thinking of going maybe do a little you know video and just talking about how I found it and yeah um, hopefully some people would be interested in that give it a thumbs up if you're interested in that <laughs> um but yeah without further chat let's just get into the video I've had some people ask some questions and I've got them in my little book because uh, <laughs> I'm old-fashioned and I'll start off with the first question someone asked how old am I so the answer to your question is I'm 21 and someone else asked are you living at home or in your, on your own and I live at home at the moment so yeah there's the answer to your question so the reason why we went to Las Vegas is for our 21st birthday and when I say our for mine and my boyfriends so a lot of people have said how long have you been with Cal Cal is my boyfriend Callum I've been with Cal for five years in November so very long don't know how he's put up with me but um, yeah five years and yeah we decided to go to Las Vegas to just celebrate our 21st and just you know because we wanted to go to Las Vegas and buy lots of stuff and have an experience of a lifetime so those are a few questions to start but I'm gonna start applying my makeup so I'll start with something from Sephora so first thing I brought it's a bit dirty because I've been using it now is the Tatcha little I don't know what this is called the pore perfecting moisturizer and cleanser so these are just mini ones slides open which is cool and these are just the mini versions of the deep cleanse and the water cream now the water cream I, I always see Jeffree Star <laughs> I always see Jeffree Star using it and I'm like oh my god that's so bougie I'm gonna use that one day so I picked up the mini version because the full version was something crazy like a hundred dollars so i was like no i'll just stick with the mini this mini set was 25 dollars, so that's like i don't know tw 20 20 quid 20 like 21 pounds something like that i don't know the exact exchange rate so i'll just be guessing with this video <laughs> i'll just keep guessing so this was 25 dollars for this mini set which i think so good to just try out you know I don't know just try it out so it's oh it's so cute it's so small and I'll just start off by popping this all over my facade facade I don't know what to say face and right I'm gonna find this really hard because I normally sit with a mirror in front of me <laughs> to do my makeup so here's a little sneak peek of what we're going to talk about in a sec but i'm just going to rub this in all over my face just bring it onto my neck a little bit as well i'm just going to tuck all my hair behind my ears because it's going to get makeup in it i should probably tie it back um yeah it makes your face look super glowy i am a bit sweaty as well so <laughs> probably rubbing a bit of sweat into it as well but we love that it's fine yeah that's just the little touch out water cream i don't know if it's going to focus but yeah it's very cute i love that one 25 dollars well spent 
Now next I'm going in with foundation. This ties in with a question that someone asked, what is your favourite drugstore and high-end foundation? Now, this foundation that I use is the House of Glam Dolls uh, Chroma Wheel Base, I think that's what they're called, and these are amazing. So I brought these when I went to IMATS. It's a company um, called House of Glam Dolls and they do sort of like um, kit makeup for makeup parties. Not even makeup parties for anyone really. It sort of condenses your kit down so you only need six shades, no, eight shades of foundation. So it's like Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So like yellow tone and then um, the pink tone ones as well so you sort of buy the the eight foundations and then that is all you need for your kit it's a really good sort of kit, kit condensing kit is suggested to use these which are the fixology ones i've got another one over there which is the matte one this is a glow one so what you do you mix it in with the foundation and you can customize the finish so if you want a matte finish you pop that in if you want a glowy finish you pop that in and yeah they're just amazing and they're nice full coverage as well i think they're 15 pounds for like the one foundation which is sort of mid-range so that's when i said this question sort of ties in well this is like mid-range so i mean i'd even say it's like it's better than the high-end foundations to be honest but um this is mid money range then high end i've got to say it's got to be my mac um fix studio fix fluid i've got to say that just because that i find is the only foundation apart from this since i found this which just works with my skin really well i don't know what it is about it just I don't know it just really suits my skin a lot of people don't like mac foundations because they think they smell chemically they think they break them out all of that but i've never had a problem with mac breaking me out so i don't know whether it's different people's skin types or anything everyone's got different skin so um yeah love my mac fix studio fix fluid now for like drugstore now this is not a drugstore foundation but it's a cheaper foundation um, because I don't know whether I'd class Primark as a drugstore I suppose you would if, if you were talking foundations this OMG is honestly I like I don't understand how they can make a foundation for £2.50 but they did I've got a few shades of it actually I don't know so this one is nude which i'd probably say I'd wear when i've not really got a tan and uh, since going to vegas i did get a little bit of a tan i got burnt to be honest but <laughs> then it turned into a tan um which i'd probably still use the nude maybe mix it in with a bit of light beige but these are the ps my perfect color perfect finish foundation medium to full coverage natural finish and it says antioxidant vitamin e i don't know how true that is but we'll just go with it this almost has the same texture as the mac studio fix fluid it's it's weird like it's weird how similar it is but for two pound fifty you can't go wrong really can you um yeah so that's probably my favorite drugstore so favorite high end is my mac studio fix fluid and then drugstore will probably be the primark one I've showed so many people that Primark one and they've gone out and brought it and said, Maddie, it is so good. So, yeah, what I normally do is really dirty. Sorry if you guys are triggered. <laughs> but I'm just as real as it comes, really. And wait until you see my beauty blender. Well, makeup sponge. I think it's the Real Techniques one. And I do really like this. It, it Oh, it's so spongy. It goes from, like... I don't know this big to like this big when you um run it underwater now you're probably thinking maddie what are you doing <laughs> so all i do i mix it literally on the back of my hand with my finger and then just put it on my face because i'm a professional <laughs> no um a lot of people have asked actually do you do makeup or I know you do makeup, where do you study it though? And yet yeah, the answer is I go to uni, I do oh oops, 
I do a course called specialist hair and media makeup. That I'll just do all sorts from sort of like fashion, editorial makeup to uh, prosthetics, body paint, uh, what else? Wigs, hair, I do like a whole spectrum of, I'm just gonna dab this in now guys with the dirty beauty sponge so don't judge i love my uni i love the course um i do find sometimes a lot of the things i've already previously done at my college course which i did production arts at college and that was a bit more um production based so sort of like um uh theater rigging and uh body paint character uh, producing a character for performance that sort of thing so um, a lot of the simple sort of makeup techniques and and sort of special effects techniques I already did at college so it's good at uni because you you get to use their resources brush up on those skills ready for the industry the big wide world and yeah it yeah it's good though I enjoy it so I can't wait to get a degree and finish, which leads on. A lot of people have said, what are you gonna do when you leave? What's your plan? Where do you see yourself five years? That sort of thing. And if I'm honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I do know. I know that I want to go into say, I wanna start going into maybe TV, that sort of thing, just to, you know, learn sort of from working from the bottom, working my way up, that sort of thing. Um, on TV uh, that interests me uh, I'll probably carry on with sort of um, party makeups wedding makeups that sort of thing also would love to carry on with my body painting work that I, I do so that's probably what I want to do when I leave uni next I'm gonna go in with the mini NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade Madeline and it's spelled exactly like my name which is so cute so I thought I had to buy it I thought whatever shade it is I'll buy it <laughs> which is so it's such a me thing to do um like I brought a NYX uh, butter glass in the shade Madeline as well because I was like it's my name whether I wear it and actually it's one of my favorite glosses so there you go this is the shade Madeline and it's light too which actually it's a good shade for underneath my eyes so it's made for me it had my name on it literally so yeah I'm gonna go in with the NARS concealer and pop it just under my eyes now it is very small <laughs> this concealer so I don't know how long it's gonna last me because I like to use a lot of concealer it just brightens your under eye I just like the look of it I sort of go over my eye as well just to create a bit of a base for my shadow now if I'm doing sort of like an every this is sort of just my every I forgot to say this is sort of just my everyday makeup pretty simple pretty I don't know standard but if I'm doing like a proper creative eye look or like a heavy eye look for, on a night normally, I will go with like a base on my eye. But in the day, I'll just pat in some concealer and work on top of that because, yeah, I don't find my eyelids go very greasy. I don't think I do. I know a lot of people have that problem. So maybe if you do, maybe go with the eye base. But I don't find mine does. It just I just want an even texture over my eyelid. I've got eyelash glue from last night in my eye which leads me on to somebody asked me very kindly what is my skincare routine now um <laughs> <laughs> next question <laughs> so right i don't really have a skincare routine i oh, know that's terrible as a makeup artist as a girl as a human not even a girl i should have a skincare routine but i just don't i, I just don't know why i've had so many people have a go at me for it and say when you're 20 when you're 20 20 years time you'll think i wish i had a skincare routine wish i looked after my skin and i know i know i wish i did but i just i don't know why i don't i just can't be bothered before i go to bed on a night i'll get my cleanser Cleanse all my makeup off, wash it off, go to bed. Literally, that's how savage it is. Like, I just don't, I just 
I just don't. I don't know why. And I am blessed. I'm so lucky. My skin isn't bad because, like, well, it's, I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I've not got terrible skin. Um, but I just don't know why it's still okay. And I feel like, this is my theory, if I was to start a skincare routine, my skin would break out. And then I'd be like, hmm, should I just not have a skincare routine then shouldn't you maddie and then i'll be stuck won't i because i'll have bad skin and i'll have to keep treating it and whatever so i'm just not going to do one. Oh right okay i lie i just thought i need a little bit of conceal up there because i was just talking about spots and how i don't need anything but i have got a few spots i do uh moisturize sometimes like on a night before i go to bed because I know that's when your skin's repairing itself and all of that jazz. So I do sometimes moisturise if I remember. And then I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I should have moisturised. But, um, yeah, I do sometimes use a face mask every now and then. We'll move on. Now, I next brought this from Sephora. All these things so far, sorry, are from Sephora. And I haven't been telling you the prices, but... Um, I thought you could just listen along. You don't really have to know, dear, how much. All in all, I spent about $300. No regrets. <laughs> it's fine. Um, now, using another dirty sponge. We love that for me. They've all been used on my face, so don't worry. Um, the Laura Mercier setting powder. Now, this has been a whole thing, hasn't it? Everyone has always used the Laura Mercier setting powder and I just never jumped on that bandwagon. Don't know why. I just thought, I'm going to be individual. I'm going to go with my RCMA powder, which I know is not individual. A lot of people use this, but it was just cheap house. That's like £13. And this, I'm sure here, is like 40 quid. So I was like nah i won't do it but i think in america i got it cheaper so i thought why not treat myself so i am just gonna set my under eye with this now and this is just a morphe um sponge now i don't bake as such but i will just set my under eye and like the baking areas really and i'll sort of just press it in Right, I'm getting a forehead crease and I'm getting a bit concerned. So, yeah, I'm gonna just leave that one there. Just leave that to set for like minus two seconds. <laughs> and then brush it off with a clean brush, which is not clean anymore because it's got powder all over it. So, this is just a Morphe brush out of a set, it's just a real hair brush and i'll just brush it away and then i find that the powder that i'm brushing away sets the rest of my face because i don't want my whole face to be completely matte like i do i do like a matte finish even though i've used a glow finish in my foundation um but i find that then i'm not using too much powder on my face to make it look cakey so and then ta-da, the rest of my face is set. Next, I'll go in with a massive, I love these brushes for contour. I brought a Sephora bronzing face powder, which is more like a contouring shade. So I brought it purposely as a contour rather than a, a bronzer because I've got a bronzer. So I wanted like a, a contour shade. And this one's quite nice quite a bit more like ashy tone so it's better for like a bronzer and then all I sort of do is just brush it in suck it in and just contour the hollows of my cheekbone the thing I find with the Morphe real hair ones brush and um, bristles um hairs sometimes come off so I'm left with like a hair on my face just go in top of my forehead under my nose i don't really contour my nose to be honest um so i find that just putting a little bit under my nose gives a little bit of definition and i'm just gonna bronze as well just with this is one that i've already had just a lottie london bronzer 
question I've had as well, which I thought was really interesting, is where are you going on holiday next? Now, we've not booked anywhere so far, but we are planning on doing, well, we want to, we say we're planning. I want to do New York near like Christmas time, not this Christmas, it's too um, close and I'm, I'm literally not got the money because we was, well, we both blew a lot of money in Las Vegas. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, we want to do New York around like Christmassy time. Um, I'll just talk to you while I'm doing my brows. I'll just use the Anastasia Dip Brow um, in Medium Brow. Um, if you want me to do like an individual brow tutorial, then just let me know and I will do that give it a thumbs up we want to do LA and San Fran and that sort of thing sort of carry on from where we left off really in Vegas uh, just because we've got the American bug now like you know once you've been to America people who've been to America will, will get this once you've been to America like nothing compares like you just want to go to America all the time well, I'll find that anyway. Let me know if it's just me. I've just got bad holiday blues at the moment. It's been like, it's been over a week now since we've been home. But I just want to go back so bad. And I just remembered as I was finishing off my brows, I also brought this from Sephora, a little Anastasia, um, what are they called? Brow gels. And this is just in dark brown, just because I want to use this more, say, on the end of my brows, sort of to darken them up a little bit, give it that sort of fade. Um, I like that sort of look. So, yeah, maybe just do it a little bit on the hairs at the front. This is just a mini as well. It was something like it was like fifteen dollars, something like that. And they had it was so cute actually. They had like a whole um, section at the front of the tills with like everything and I mean like well not everything but like nearly everything that you could think of makeup related different brands that things that I didn't know they did in minis like the Laura Mercier powder they did in a mini and uh, you know like the Tatcha thing that I had to start they did that in a mini well that is the mini I forgot what we was last talking about because I didn't have enough storage left so I've just had to carry on filming um luckily i knew that the camera had stopped so yeah we can just carry on from where we left off i think well by the looks of it i finished at brows um so i think i was talking about the minis and how how it's a cute idea but yeah i think it's a cute idea but yeah i've done my brow so next we're gonna go in with the new Jeffree Star Morphe brushes. Now this comes with 10 brushes and basically the day we, let me, so I've not even took them out of the packet yet. It comes with 10 brushes, but basically the day that we went out, which was a Monday, I'm sure Jeffree's collection was launching on the Tuesday. So I said to Cal, oh my God, we've got to go to the actual Morphe shop in Las Vegas, which was in the Miracle Mile shopping mall. And I says, we are going there when it opens and I'm going to buy the Jeffree Star um, palette and brushes. So I did and I went on launch down. They're so nice in there. Like every, I swear, everyone in America is just really nice. I'm not saying everyone in England isn't as well but everyone's just kind and I don't know they were just so cute and they were saying like how cool it is that I was from England and that I was buying like the Jeffree Star collection at, on holiday and I was like yeah I've got it like I need it I, I would have ordered it if I was back home anyway all of these are synthetic these three are real hair but um on my eyes I tend to like synthetic a bit better I don't know why I just feel like it blends it a bit better but I will still use these because they're very nice and they're nice crease brushes as well so I like when you've got a lot of crease brushes because I don't know you tend to just pick up blend with one um, put the colour on with one to go in with finally you can see it properly this is the Morphe X Jeffree Star artistry palette and 
it's just a nice size i love it and someone asked me actually this was another question what is your favorite thing to buy makeup wise like is it mascara like eyeliner foundation palettes i'd have to say palettes are probably my favorite thing just because they're the nicest to look at aren't they it's like oh it's like wow i could do like this look with it this look with it like i don't know i just really i think i like buying palettes the most that's my favorite thing so that's the answer to your question and I, i've already dug my nail in the brown shade which is really annoying <laughs> why do i do this i do this every single time like i'm there and then i just like dig my nail in it like i'm stupid but yeah so i'm gonna go with this one which is the js8 just a nice fluffy crease brush and i'm probably just gonna set all over just with this color which is lynn and just set it's really nice nice pigment as well in this palette that i think it's pressed pigments and like normal shadows in there so i've not really experimented with it yet and I'm not really going to know because I'm just going to do like an everyday what I'd do with it. Let me know if you want to see a video of me experimenting with maybe these nice pinks and purple shades or green maybe. I like the pinks and purples so let me know. And then next I'm going to go in with 1985 which is like a nice peachy shade and just put that all in the crease just roughly. With like, I don't know, with an everyday makeup like this I just sort of do it really I don't know how to explain that. So what, what I do, I keep my eye open as I'm doing it so I can see where I'm popping the well so I can see where I'm putting the colour but also um so I can just sort of I don't know just feel where the crease is, I think that's the word, yeah. Now I'm using what's the tea, which in the pan it looks like a sort of I don't know, like a dirty brown colour, but this in the crease is a perfect colour. It's like a, my perfect like warm creek shade. Some other questions I got asked, some random ones, <laughs> some random ones. How tall are you? I'm probably five five, I think. Yeah, five five. Uh, just average height really. And someone asked me, have you got any pets? And yes, I do. I have four cats, which people are probably like four. But yeah, I have four. I've always really grown up with cats. I'm just going underneath the eye if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, just roughly. I'm not like, thing is, with my eyes, well, with my eyes, with shadow, I'm really rough with it. Like, you know, I should probably go in now with like a smaller, smaller brush. You know what, I will, but just to look at, like I'm a little bit professional. Like, I don't know, like on myself, I'm not really bothered. Like, I'll just shove it on um but i'm showing you like how to do it i suppose so just going with a smaller brush this one's just js12 just to get it a little bit more precise under the eyes ask me what is my favorite cocktail now i have a few i know that's not the point of having a favorite but if you're talking you know uh standard weather spoons like if the camera's moved a bit i'm sorry i'll just have to run downstairs but what was I talking about? Weatherspoons. If you don't know what Weatherspoons is, it's just like a pub in the UK. Everybody goes there. Um, and if you're talking Weatherspoons cocktails, they do the pictures like two for whatever, like I don't know, eight quid. And um, my favourite one is Purple Rain. It's so nice. But if you're talking classic cocktails, it's got to be a porn star. It's got to be a porn star martini. Passion fruit is amazing. <clears throat> See, my voice was like gagging porn then. <laughs> a uh, porn star martini has got to be my favourite cocktail. So that's the answer to your question. Who asked, what is your favourite cocktail? He asked, what Netflix series is your favourite? And if you want to know what I'm currently watching, I'm currently watching Jane the Virgin. Now, I know this is such an old series. And I know the finale's just been on, so I am a bit behind. But I am so excited to just know what happens in it. Like, say if I'm at work, I literally think I want to go back and I want to watch Joan the Virgin. I want to know what's happened next. Like, do you know what I mean? You know when you're that addicted to a series, that's how I feel with Joan the Virgin. So if you're not already watching it, get on it and let me know what you think. 
I did have someone ask, is Meg my full-time job? Um, no, not at the moment. I wish it was. I work in a jewellery shop. Um, so, yeah. I do love my job. It's really good. But obviously, makeup's my career. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just sort of buffing out now. Just keep going in between the two brushes and really buffing it out. Uh, so yeah, I've been using What's the Tea and Hi Dude. So you can see it's just this warm, smoky brown. I tend to do this. It's just sort of my go-to, go-to eye look. Next, I'm gonna just curl my lashes quickly. There's no point in me ever curling my lashes because I've literally, like, I've got, I always say I've got camel eyelashes, like literally. <laughs> like literally, they're so straight, it's ridiculous. So, question all the time. Like, I've literally been shopping before and someone stopped me and said, what eyeliner do you wear and all this? Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Liquid Ink. It just looks like this in a black and white tube and it's one of the sort of dip liners. I've not wore, well, what I've been doing recently, I've been sort of smoking out my eyeshadow instead. I don't know. When I, when I had like lash extensions, I'd just sort of uh, smoke out my lash line. But I'm going to do an eyeliner for you guys because I've not actually worn it properly in ages. Um, I get so many people ask, how do you do your liner? How do you get it so straight? And I just don't know, guys. Like, I've been doing it for years, like since I've been at school, I used to get told off at school for having eyeliner on for flicks and they'd say, wipe the flicks off and I'd be like, okay. I mean, I do have to say silent for it, so it's not very, <laughs> very good tutorial. I go across sort of the, I never go all the way in either, unless I'm wearing false lashes. I don't know why, I feel like it, it makes my eyes look a little bit smaller if I go all the way in. So I'll go really fine in, maybe to, I don't know oh I don't know how to explain but just basically not all the way in and then sort of draw a, a fine line across well this is this is fine to me this is not fine to everyone else so before everyone comes for me I do my makeup how I like it and to me this is an everyday makeup to some people it'd be sort of like a night out makeup I totally get that that's fine but this is how I wear my makeup and how I like it, so just thought I'd say that before people are like, oh my god, that's so heavy, such heavy makeup. Well, I like it, so I'm gonna wear it. I never told you what I did, but I basically do do the line out then and then sort of join this up. And I keep going alternating from opening my eye to closing my eye. So yeah, there's my big fat wing. I love it. I love wearing a wing though. I don't know, just there's something retro about it. Well, it is retro, isn't it? Sort of glamour, glamour look. And I feel like wings suit me just because I've got quite close set eyes. So a wing sort of elongates my eyes. I'm quite lucky really that I've got quite like big eye space to be able to do like such thick wings because you know it doesn't suit everyone i'll get clients sometimes who will want a wing like a, a thick wing because sometimes it just doesn't suit everyone's eye shape so there's always ways to get around it um instead of just doing like a full liner like this you can sort of just smoke out smoke out a black gel liner to give it that same effect it's just standard me every every day it is it really is like this liner i did buy a mascara from sephora the lash craft length and volume now i've used it once i don't know if i'm a fan i don't feel like it does anything i've not got eyelashes anyway but i just don't think it does anything so probably just use that on the bottom i'll just go with the maybelline colossal big shot I like this one, it seems to do something for my lashes, like literally, that's what I mean, like I'd, I'd be lying to you if I put full size lashes on because I don't do that every day, so I was gonna but then I thought no, I don't do that every day so there's no point. So yeah, I literally, that's what all I do with <laughs> mascara, I know some people really take time with the mascara because they've got beautiful lashes but mine are literally 
non-existent my bottom lashes i've got some but my top lashes but i literally i said to the girl who does more lashes when i have lash extensions i said like can you actually do do them on mine because they're so straight so like what's a lash gonna you know curl curl on but she's done them and she's amazing so how nice that is on the bottom lashes it's just it does nothing for my top lashes so that's that yeah so i'm gonna just do a um like an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight with designer label like a goldy shimmer and welcome she just mix them together um and i'm just popping it in the inner corner just on a morphe brush and then i'm just going to take just designer label and pop that on my brow bone i like this glowy look recently nice nice for summer nice and glowy gel again and just pop that back in just because i'm not the most light-handed person yeah, that's better i love this brow gel now i've never used brow gel i just thought i'd pick it up and i actually really like it you know when you don't really want to wear makeup just pop a little bit of this in it just looks really nice i'm gonna just do a little bit of highlight as well well i'm gonna say a little bit a lot more if you continue in setting spray i just got it in my mouth because i was talking and it tastes quite nice though so I'm not gonna lie and i also brought this which is the sephora sephora Fo sephora pro face palette and this is in medium and this is so heavy it just feels good this was one of the most expensive things it was some, i think it's about 60 dollars and in here you have like your blushes and then three highlights which is more like a shimmery blush i'd say and then a contour which is quite dark so i'm going to probably keep this for my kit but for now i have used the highlighters so i'm going to use the highlighters just because it's part of this whole little haul i'm going to use first class the one on the left and bougie which i absolutely love that is a highlighter made for me and I'm just gonna gently pop this on. Now I do like to spray my brush as well, just because I feel like it, I don't know, I feel like the pearl is a little bit better. Yeah, see that's so nice, isn't it? It's proper like golden. I never really blush, so I'm not gonna lie, I've just dipped in all three of them. Besso, Flossy and Fabulosity, love that. I'm just gonna put a bit of blush on. I have been doing it these last few days just to test them out. And I do really like it. What I've been doing it with is, which I should have probably used, um, I'll show you in a second. So we're using this one, the Jouer Rose Gold Blush Duo in Marigold and Rose Petal. So this one, oh, right, I've had a bit of a drama with it really. But once I got back to the hotel, was looking through all my stuff i was like can't wait to show everyone this absolutely buzzing opened the jouer one it was smashed like smashed so i was like no like, i've got to get this home as well and i don't want it to get even worse so wrapped it up in like bubble wrap and everything before we left the airport got it back home it was smashed even more i was like right i need to save this so i did a little thing on my um instagram videos just like repressing it so i've repressed it it was fine until before i was going to bed i literally just threw my makeup bag on the floor and then i opened it and it's broke again which the thing is i think because it's already weak it it's going to be like this like forever so it's broke again through the middle of there which is really annoying and it's it's separated a bit from the pan which I don't know why it's done that. But you know what? The actual blushes work just as good. So I just have to be really careful with it, I think. But I'll put a bit of this one on as well because it's a little bit shimmery. I feel like blush actually really ties your look together. I never realised this before. It actually does something for me. Love that for me. So I'm going to be using blush a lot more now. Last thing I do is lips. Now... 
I'm really debating what lip to go. I think I'm going to go for a red because that is signature Madding, a red lip. Um, I love this formula of the... I think, right, I don't exactly know what they're called and I don't want to make it up. I think they're just called Sephora Lip Creams and they're just liquid. They're like liquid lips and they're like really creamy and they smell so nice. They smell like cake, like they're that nice. Uh, I, I brought my mom and my sister one and everything I always do like when I went to New York I brought my sister one as well um, and I just thought you know what I'm running out of my Jeffree Star red rum so I'll buy a red and just see how it compares and it's so nice I've tested it already so I think I might go this one but I do want to just show you the last thing that I bought so I think everything that I've well i think i've gone for everything now that i use oh i did actually buy a light i actually brought one of jeffrey's lip glosses and this one they smell really nice as well this one's crystal climax and it's such a nice color it's like a proper bronze color and like the glitter reflexes in it are like gold so that's a really nice one over like a nude lip but i'm not going to do that today but i do want to show you these pat mcgrath labs uh mini Man matte trance skin show trio first edition limited release and in this you get um omi or omi 1995 and flesh three which are i mean there's a little picture on there you can't really see uh i've not opened it yet just because i don't want to open it because you get all the sequins in i just thought it was cute but in here you get three mini ones i've really wanted to try the pat mcgrath um lipsticks now i don't know if selfridges do pat mcgrath or i've never saw them in person like a makeup stand of pat mcgrath so i was so excited when i went in sephora and i saw it i was like oh my god cow i've got to buy something so i brought these minis and i'm sure this was like 20 dollars or something like that which is such good value because the lipsticks alone are really expensive but i think they're really good quality i think nikki tutorials um has done a few videos like wearing them and stuff so i was like right i'm gonna get them so yeah i've got these three nude shades like, like nudie browns really nice so yeah look out for an insta post and i'll put like say testing these three out maybe so follow me instagram so my instagram's maddie xd but i am just gonna go in with a sephora lip cream and this is shade 95 i don't know the name it was something like ruby red or something like that <laughs> now a lot of people are like, oh my god, Maddie, you don't, um, I've just got loads on my, I don't know why I just did that. Loads of people are probably going to be like, Maddie, why are you not lip lining? Like, I thought you meant to lip line, but I literally don't. Like, with a red lip, I don't, I don't know, I just don't. I've only started recently using lip liner with, like, nudes, and that's only because I want, like, a darker lip line to the nude in the centre. Yeah, I always start on the bottom and then because my one lip, my one lip, my one top lip is like uneven to the other side so I'll just press it together like that to get like an even, even like sort of I don't know, distribution of product and then I'll do my cupid's bow because I like a pointy cupid's bow. Yeah, so I'll just fill in <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking because you can't even understand me. So just make sure my lip lines are even. I do overdraw a little bit, not gonna lie. I'm not about the filler's life because I'm too scared. <laughs> and I don't I actually don't think I need them, not gonna lie. I, I quite like my lips, so yeah. I love a red lip. I just think, you know what, if in doubt, pop a red lip on, you just feel amazing about yourself. Gotta check there's nothing on my teeth, hang on. No, and I actually like this red as well because it makes your teeth look a bit whiter. Do you think? I know you can't talk back to me, but let me know if you think <laughs> it makes my teeth look whiter. Um, but yeah, this is it. I think yeah, I think I've literally used everything that I brought makeup wise whilst in Vegas. So let me know if you've enjoyed this just little chat. Oh, so someone's asked me. <laughs> right this is my sister actually who's your favorite queen so i'm into drag race love drag race and i can't wait for the uk one um and she's asked who's your favorite queen well i know hers is bianca just because and to be fair we both love comedy queens so um yeah i love bianca love Alyssa. 
um I love a comedy queen anyway but if it was sort of you know we're doing makeup in this video so we might as well say who my favorite queen is like makeup wise I do love Miss Fame's makeup and I love watching her videos of uh, Painted by Fame. If you've not ever watched that, just search it on YouTube, Painted by Fame. Oh my God, like, I'd love for her to do my makeup. But yeah, probably Miss Fame, so yeah. That is it and that is all the questions that you asked. Thank you so much to people who ask questions. It's made this video a little bit more chatty. You found out a little bit more about me. Is there anything else you want to know about me? send me a dm on instagram maddie xd or just comment on this video um let me know what you want to see next as well if you want to see any more makeup videos or you want to see more um hauls or anything i have got some of the things that i did buy from vegas and i might do a little video just showing things i bought like i said at the beginning as well of the video um one uh, like a video just talking about my experience with Vegas, showing you little s snippets of um, things we did while we were there. Give me a thumbs up, smash a subscribe as well if you haven't already subscribed, it means a lot. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.